Just tuning in, here's a recap of our top stories with Aaron A. Aaron. Thank you very much, Brian. Protesters outside the Bangladeshi city of Dhaka have been smashing vehicles and throwing stones at factories. They're demanding justice following a weekend blaze at a garment factory that killed at least 120 people. Officials say the eight-story building that had no emergency exits and many people were trapped in that building. Firefighters have pulled out at least 100 bodies and eight more people died at hospitals after jumping from the building. Unions in Bangladesh have long complained about unsafe factories and dismal sweatshop conditions. Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi is due to meet with the country's Supreme Judicial Council. The judges are trying to persuade the president to limit the sweeping powers he granted himself last week. The decree has sparked protests by opposition activists who continue to camp out in Cairo's Tahir Square for a fourth day, demanding Morsi reverse his decision. Opponents and supporters of the president have called for mass rallies in the city. Morsi's decree states that his decision cannot be appealed by the courts and bars Egypt from dissolving the upper house of parliament. Critics say Morsi is taking on dictatorial powers like those of his predecessor, Hosni Mubarak. Australia's government has apologized to hundreds of victims in the military who suffered abuse, clearing the way for those victims to receive compensation. In an address to Parliament, Australia's Defence Minister Stephen Smith said steps would be taken to ensure the sexual, physical and mental abuse would not be repeated. The apology comes after a probe led by the led to, led, that led to the discovery of more than 1,000 claims of abuse dating back to the 1950s and all the way to present day. The inquiry was commissioned following a sex scandal at a military academy in 2011. And those are just some of your top stories on this Monday, November 26, 2012. All right, thanks, Aaron. Very welcome. Well, now for a feature we call the 65s, five stories from around the globe in 60 seconds.